For the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, in the recent past, we got the Five of Cups and it's with Temperance. So the Five of Cups, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well it works for us. So you could find yourself asking, or you did in the recent past, found yourself asking, um, what will you choose to focus on? Because the implication would have been really clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk, or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you would have needed to watch where you put your focus in the recent past and make sure it was for your highest good. Because with the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment that happened. It could have been in a love relationship or a situation. Maybe you were in the process of, of ending a relationship or some situation. So it was trying to focus on which it was a decision to make. Should you focus on the disappointment or focus on what's still good? Now it's with temperance. Temperance has occurred. It says that all your relationships are going quite well, but you may, need, you may need it to look at some deep personal issues and see if they were standing in your way, and if they were, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea at that, that time in the recent past, it would have been to find balance. Find balance in yourself and your relationships and your goals and your aspirations. So basically with these two cards for your recent past, like I said, you, it looks like you experienced some loss, maybe some regret, grief. You could have also been feeling abandoned by someone or, or unloved in the recent past. So you were disappointed. So you had to make a choice of how you was going to focus your energy or which direction to, to move towards. I would say so mentally, you were trying to figure out the best for your mind. It looks like you chose a peace of mind, or that's what you should have chose, because temperance is here, and temperance is about um, it's about peace of mind, finding balance, maybe even reconciliation. So, um, also temper temperance, like I said, it's about finding peace of mind. You may need to have peace and wisdom. Well, before you can have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace within yourself. So you could have needed to look at anything you felt guilty about, past mistakes that you've made, forgive yourself, then let them go. Because it's really the only way you would have been able to move forward and make progress. So that's the recent past. So it was all about finding balance because there was some loss, regret, and like I said, maybe you felt abandoned by someone, but it was all about pulling yourself together. Dealing with some personal issues that might have came about. So let's move on and let's take a look at the present time. We got the Lover's Card and the Magician. Now this Lover's Card, it's beautiful. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. It's possible that... Uh, you could start to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation that's coming in. It's either coming in or it's already there. A new person or someone that you know already. So you start to feel really ambivalent towards the end of this month. Could go into August. Now, it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. The thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and, either, and that would be either fear or it would be love. And when you can choose, it's saying it's safe to choose love, because when you get the lover's card, it's a time that love is likely to bring, well, it's a time likely to bring love in big, bold, capital letters, to the center stage of your life. So like I said, it's either a new relationship coming in, someone new, or it could be a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be quite happy about how romance is going. And others will notice how you're glowing. That's the lover's card. Now it's with the magician. The magician is a card that signifies new beginnings. So you got, you got a lot of new beginnings coming up. 
end of July, early August, this two cards about new beginnings or something new and wonderful. This card, the magician, it reminds us that you have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know you will not have it handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. A lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then make sure you do something, because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get the magician and the lover's card for the present time. Looks like... There's a coming together here with this lover's card. There's a union. The lover's card is about falling in love. It's a partnership. It's a deep love. It's the strength of two. It's associated with the astrological sign Gemini the Twins. So you could be, be meeting someone very special, very special, a soulmate. I know a lot of people don't like to hear this word, but maybe a twin flame is coming in. And because it's with the magician card, this person manifested this connection with you, or you manifested this connection with this person. Yeah, the uh, magician card is about manifestation powers. So someone manifested you, Gemini. And it's not only someone, but it's it's a deep love. So, yeah, you could be falling head over heels for someone soon or someone feeling that way about you. Okay, so that's the present time. Now let's take a look and see what's going on with the challenge. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Now the Two of Pentacles, it could be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend now. You may need to cut down on the things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced, so make sure you're paying attention there. Now, this Two of Pentacles is with the Knight of Swords which is actually a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. It often means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords, it points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak, and if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear, the Knight of Swords. It's about a lot of activity. Could be travel, could be being out and about, getting things accomplished, so you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you, and that's going to be a good thing. You'll be going after your heart's desire. Now, the challenge is that this person that we we see here with the lover's card, uh, they're going to be a busy, they'll be a be really busy type of person. They do a lot. Uh, so they may have trouble finding time for this connection or it may feel that way because they got this to do they got that to do um, and maybe it's just temporary but they do a lot of things I don't know if they've got more than one job if they're the owner of a company or something they just really they do a lot of multitasking it doesn't look like it's a good thing so maybe it's temporary um, because they could be back and forth um, in and out of town. So they, they do a lot, okay? They have several tasks, put it that way. But, now that would be the challenge, just two of pinnacles. But this person, they, they will... They will be feeling you so much. This new or rebonding of an old person, this soulmate, twin flame that's coming in, they're going to be feeling you so much that they'll cut out whatever needs to be cut out just to be with you. That's what the Knight of Swords does. You see how this man has a sword in his hand? 
and it looks like he's flying through the sky on this animal or whatever that is and he's cutting out whatever gets in the way just to get to you so whenever you say wait a minute now I need some, some attention over here <laughs> here he comes he's, he's coming to charge in to sweep you off your feet that's what the knight of swords does so never mind if he's busy whenever you whenever he feels that or he or she feels that it's a problem they cut it out right away and they're there right at your doorstep this person is really feeling you like I said they manifested this connection and I'm picking up that you manifested this connection also nothing can stop the two of you now not even uh, not even the two of pentacles no matter how many jobs no matter how much work no matter near or far this person will make sure to make time for you it's beautiful beautiful Gemini let's take a look and see what the outcome for you two will be now we got this ten of swords and it's with the fool card now the Ten of Swords, it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when a Ten comes up, when it comes to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind when one door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. Trust yourself and trust in the universe. Okay, and the Ten of Swords is with the Fool card. Now, the Fool card is about newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting. Trust forms the meaning for this card. It's a positive card in the tarot, but it could be one, there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. And so the full card is about just ready to take a leap and just jump right in. Full card is a risk taker. So, ten of swords and the full card for the outcome. So it looks like, uh, Gemini, you got trust issues. Because I'm looking at the recent past. We talked about how you you felt abandoned or unloved by a cer certain person or a situation. You could have just gotten out of a relationship. Something was very hurtful, and you were disappointed. And, you, and it took a lot for you to just bring balance back into your life. And you could still be struggling with this. Because the recent past could have been a week ago. It could have been a month ago. It could have been six months ago or more. But it looks like it's still in your energy. So, you've got some trust issues here for the outcome. But the good thing is that your person, like I said, they're feeling you. They're ready, they're ready to jump right in. Just take a leap. A leap of faith. Your person really, this person is with the, in this lover's card really, really likes you. Um, like I said, the lover's card is beautiful. It's a it's a union and and it's personal it looks like he met he or she manifested this connection and you probably did too this could be the both of you but you you got trust issues so the good thing is that your person they have a different energy than you they're ready to jump right in so maybe your person can help Maybe they can help, help pull you out of your feeling defeated or afraid that you might, or, or afraid that this, they can help pull you out of thinking that this could be a failure again, so this could actually flop. Because your person is, the tone, your person is thinking totally different than how you're thinking. Yeah, he's he's got his or she's got her head up high and this person is so excited they're just ready to jump right in and like I said whatever 
that's keeping this person busy, they'll stop it, they'll cut it out, they'll they'll be there. So they'll make sure that this person's gonna make sure you know that you are the priority and they're ready they're ready for this connection. Something that they manifested. This person really, really likes you. It's the lover's card, a soulmate, a twin flame. So the only thing is that you, you got to work on the trust issues because it looks like, like I said, you've already been through some, some disappointment that, that looks like it's carrying over to this, to this new great love that's coming in. And I know what a lot of you Geminis are saying. Oh, this reading is not for me. I don't find love. I never have. <laughs> okay. All right, I hear you. I'm feeling you. So, the lover's card. Just take it as a some darn great opportunity is coming in for you. Something that's just, that could blow your mind. It's an opportunity. If you know it's not love, you got some really, really good opportunity coming in, Gemini. So good for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extension of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. 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 If you